Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306, and just to go to show, um, this was a project that I pretty much shoved in a box, uh, this exact box over here, uh, for quite a while because, well, there was a bug in the software and I started getting pissed off and, you know, I, I got busy around that time with college, so I just kind of shelved it and never did anything with it. And it just sat literally in the corner of my room at home and I never did anything with it. Well, today I finally decided, well, enough's enough. I have enough projects that I've never completed. I want to get this completed. So, uh, basically what I ended up doing was to make it a little easier to power. I, um, I have this lead uh, USB. It just runs off 5 volts. I've explained this years ago. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, just soldered a little lead in there so I can power it remotely uh, without you know any, anything plugged in just for testing off of a USB battery pack and here's the display and you can see it finally works um, the problem I was having was uh, it would keep resetting the clock for some reason and it ended up being that I I, I bit banged the the uh, serial uh, communications to uh, between the RTC and the main chip and there's a bug where I don't think I was initializing um, the the read input as well an input it was it was misconfigured as an output so it was causing really weird unexpected behavior but once I fix that everything works now so you can see it's a clock and it counts and this is a beautiful VFD tube and yeah so that is going to be really, really cool. Um, this is uh, DC driven for the filament. So I've been reading that that's not a great thing to do. Um, it could affect the lifespan of the tube. So I'm going to modify the hardware. I have enough, plenty of room on the board. Um, so I'm going to modify, um, probably add like an H bridge or something, or maybe a couple transistors so I could uh, swap the polarity uh, quick enough so that I don't get any any gradient across the display. Um, easier than you know driving at AC, especially since this is an entirely DC system. Um, it, it'd be kind of a pain to generate a sine wave just for that. Um, though I probably could, but anyway, that's not the point. Um, I have to add inputs to actually set the time right now. It has to be set via the programmer, which is kind of pointless. Um, easy enough, I have plenty of pins available. Just add two switches and uh, some onboard pull-ups, and I will be set. So yeah, you can see, full power, and it remembers the time. Yeah, in real life, um, the digits look like they're flickering um, on the display here. In real life, they're not that bad unless you catch them in the corner of your eye, then you can see the multiplexing. I don't have a scheduler or a fixed scheduler for uh, multiplexing the display. I'm just kind of relying on um, the main loop so I'm probably gonna go go and fix that um, add a scheduler to multiplex the display so that um, I don't have to worry about trying to do so in between reads to the RTC chip so yeah finally getting some progress and I got some cool um, uh, white uh, clear filament for my 3d printer I just print out a little rook guy here but anyway um, so I'm thinking of making kind of like a, a shell for this um, where you can't really see the supports and it'll look like the tube's just kind of floating. Um, I have some uh, acrylic uh, plexiglass or whatever that should do pretty well for that. And I can make some 3D print some, uh, some supports for the tube so, you know, it's nice and secure. But yeah, finally happy that this is actually working. Um, yeah, my alarm clock's been on the fritz so I figured, you know, I might as well make one <laughs> anyway i've rambled on for long enough if you guys have any questions uh, i'm happy to, to try and help um i do have some documentation for this tube um the data sheet that i found for it uh was in i think russian uh i don't know i might be wrong but anyway it was all foreign to me so i had to reverse engineer the tube manually by hand uh just visually by inspecting the traces and whatnot um, I have that written down messily somewhere. I can upload that if anyone's interested. Um, yeah, I can share my source code once I've fixed it up. Um, there's a lot that I need to clean up in it. Uh, keep in mind the code's like four years old or something ridiculous. I haven't touched it in that long. So yeah, um, until I have an update, I will see you guys later.